Hi, I'm Chef Kevin Belton. Today, let's make some crab cakes. Now, this is gonna be a great recipe, and I'll show you something that you've probably never done before. So in our bowl, I have an egg. Let's just go ahead and get this just whisked together. To this, we're gonna put in a splash of hot sauce. This gives us nice flavor. You know, use a hot sauce that you like. You know, in Louisiana, we have a lot of vinegar-based hot sauces. Find one that you like. I'm also gonna put in a little bit of my Creole seasoning. This is a mixture of different herbs and spices. Don't let the red fool you. It's not very hot, but just a little bit of seasoning in for flavor. We're also gonna put in a little bit of kosher salt. You know, salt adds flavor. So as we whisk this together, Look at some of the other flavors that we're gonna drop in. We're gonna do a little bit of dry mustard. Now, if you wanna use a yellow mustard, a Dijon, that's fine. Dry mustard just gives a little different flavor, a touch to it. You could actually use a Creole mustard or your favorite mustard that you happen to have. So a little parsley, fresh parsley, a little bit of spring onion, green onion, all right? Not too much, just a little bit of flavor. And also, it also adds a little bit of texture. And to this, we're also gonna put a touch of mayonnaise. If you notice, we aren't using many things to bind our crab cakes because we wanna taste the flavor of the crab. So now that we have this work together, now we can put in our crab meat. Now, we're gonna use claw meat. A lot of times folks will use lump crab meat, but you know, use a crab that you like. Depending on where you are, you may use a Dungeness crab. You may use snow crabs. Just whichever one you like, or whichever one you happen to have available, and make sure it's nice and fresh. There's nothing like fresh crab meat, because here, our seasonings that we use are gonna complement the flavor of this crab meat. Now, you notice, this is claw meat. Claw meat is a little sweeter, and I'm just gently stirring this in to get that mixed together. So now it's nice and moist. You notice that little bit of mayonnaise is holding this together, and something that we didn't do that a lot of times folks add, folks will put breadcrumbs in as a binder. But here, we're just using that little bit of hot sauce, that little bit of mayonnaise to hold this together. So now I have a piece of foil, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our crab meat, let's do it this way. We're gonna put this right onto our foil. Okay, everybody out, everybody out, okay? Now, let's just bring this together, okay? Can I get it evenly? And we're going to roll this up. We're just gonna start, bring it over and pull it tight. Bring it to you, pull it nice and tight, and just roll. Just roll, keeping it nice and tight. And we're gonna pinch our ends as we roll to make this a tube. Now, what we're going to do with this, we're gonna put this in the freezer just roughly for about 30 minutes. The mayonnaise inside will chill and it'll be nice and firm and I'll show you how to cut this and maybe show you a way to do this that you've never done before. Now, this is chilled for 30 minutes. We're gonna take a serrated knife or a bread knife, one that has little bumps on it. That's what the serrations are called. That's why it's called a serrated knife. So now, let's start cutting our crab cakes. See, we just want to cut right through the foil. Look how that holds that together. Now, let's chill these for 15 minutes, then it will be ready to cook on our Presto griddle. Our griddle is set at 350 degrees, okay? We're gonna cook these on each side for six minutes. So here I have a little butter, 
and I have a little Italian breadcrumbs. So we're gonna take, dip into the butter, then into the breadcrumbs. Now this is a seasoned Italian breadcrumb. You may want to try this with a panko if you wanna make homemade breadcrumbs, that's fine. So now let's just put this right on the griddle. Little butter right in the breadcrumbs, turn it over into the butter, back in and right on the griddle. You know, what's really neat about doing it on the griddle is the fact that it maintains that temperature. That temperature is important. Also, it gives us a lot of room. You know, sometimes when things in a frying pan can get crowded on us. So here on our griddle, we have extra room to turn them where we're not crowded in the pan. So let's just, and you notice I'm keeping the foil on. Our foil will help keep our shape, okay? Let's just go ahead and put that one on. And here, let's get one more on. Little butter, a little bit of Italian breadcrumbs. You know, if you have leftover bread, put it in the oven, dry it out. Then you can make some nice breadcrumbs with it, okay? Now, here, on our Presto fold away griddle, it also comes with a little tray. Our tray can catch anything from oil to little crumbs from our crab cakes here. So that's a nice feature. So we're gonna cook these each side for six minutes, 350 degrees. The control master heat control regulates the temperature automatically. Our temperature is gonna be set and we have plenty of room when we get ready to turn. You know, one of the nice things about this Presto fold away griddle, it's a non-stick surface, so things won't stick. And also, look, we have plenty of room to give us easy access when we turn. It's so easy to clean, plus it's dishwasher safe. So we've cooked our crab cake six minutes on each side. Now we can just unwrap it, take our spatula, and put it right on our plate. See, our foil helped the crab cake keep its shape. You can see the breadcrumbs on the top have gotten nice and golden brown. Actually, it's golden brown on both sides. These crab cakes can be used with a poached egg on the top for breakfast. We can use them at a brunch where we can put your favorite sauce on, whether it's a tartar sauce, a ramelade sauce, that poached egg with a hollandaise sauce. But here are our wonderful, beautiful, nice brown crab cakes done on our Presto Fold Away Griddle.